everyone welcome back today I have to uh, repair my Sencor tube tester it's a mighty might 6 TC 154 they have a mighty might 7 TC 162 similar I have a rotor switch for these and they got switches up here also but they do the same thing for as far as mission and grid test so I'm having problems with it and I have uh, serviced this I don't know 12 years ago or so I'm plugging it in right now 12 years ago or so and I know I changed the capacitor in here electrolytic I think basically that was it but then I calibrated it and I'm going to show you it's still in calibration but the emission test only goes up to the question mark it does not go into good or bad regardless of what tube you put in there so we have to check that out so I got this uh, Sencor for the model TC154 that I built it has uh, it's got a, a silicon diode in there. I don't remember specs on it, but it's a half of an amp. And then uh, they wanted to put uh, a 100 meg resistor in there. So actually, it's 100 meg is very hard to get. So I put uh, as a four twenty-two megs and one ten meg, no twelve meg, four twenty-two and one twelve meg in series to get my hundred meg. Then there's an R two in there that's two hundred seventy k, and a one k at one percent. So I put it in this little pill box, prescription bottle fit perfectly and I keep with my two tools tools tubes so that we're going to show you so we got to do the emission test first we'll turn it on make sure turn this down let's, let's just set these right now 1d 6d Okay, we put this in here, and we'll see if it's calibrated. <coughs> All right, we're going to put it on shorts. Let's see if I got it. One D six D. One. Okay, we're going to check for shorts. Well, we're not checking for shorts right now. What we want to do is set this uh, meter. Let me see. Turn it off, and that's pretty close. This needle's laying, so I don't have to do the meter zero or just to here. So again, put it on shorts. It moves, so we'll put that on zero. Zero that out. Okay. Now this position, the needle should go right here on the bottom scale, just at the question mark before the band, right at that line there for the grid, grid leakage, and we'll look, and it's spot on for emissions, grid leakage, I mean, so that's good, put it back on shorts, then we put it on C, and check again the needle it looks good now that should read 60 right in the middle on the emissions it's a hair over it's a little over try that sh uh, shorts again make sure it is lined up it's close enough emissions I'm a little over but I ain't bad for after 12 years because they say once you 
once you do this, you shouldn't have to do it again. So, oh, wait a minute. I got one more test to do. We got to check for shorts. Should be, I think it's up. E and F, I should have the light on. So we go D, E. Yes, it's lit. I know you can't see it, but it's lit. Barely, but it's lit. And then F is a lot brighter. So that's it. So turn this off. So it passes my calibration from, I don't know, 12 years ago or more. I don't remember. Should have dated it. But now I'll get a tube. And we'll show you a good tube. This is a 3.5 C5. I'll put tube. The old stock, or no, these are used. These are definitely used. Okay, now we gotta put this. Sorry, right, this is 3.5 C5. So I'm gonna make sure that tube says that. 3.5 C5. I know for a fact because I checked a couple of these before. That's 30. Uh, 30 to 38, so that's the heating element. Let me see. Thirty-five Charlie. Okay, I remember now. Thirty-five, three, thirty-five C5. It just works out that way on this too. And this was on, I think, B. No, it's A. I take that back. Three, five, no. That was right, B. 36C, 5B4. Why don't I remember it before? 35C. Five, three, five, C five. That's just a coincidence. B and the pin goes in two, four. I mean, uh, okay. We're gonna put it on shorts, and we're gonna wait till the heater lights up a little bit, and then we're gonna check for shorts because you never check a tube if it's shorted. You do not proceed with any other. I can see it lighting up. So, we go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K, H, K. Okay. It's not short enough. Now we're going to do emissions. And that's it. It just goes into the question mark. Check for grid leakage. That's going to be fine. But the emissions is definitely not there. And I know this is a good tube. So, before it gets too hot, let me get it out of there. I can give it more time to warm up, but it, don't, it wouldn't make a difference. Because this is a solid state uh, instant on unit. And it, uh, should have checked that tube really fast. So, That is a problem. I don't know why. That's why it's important, like I said, to always, if you got a short, do not proceed with any other test. You'll just ruin your, uh, but uh, I don't know what happened here. So I'm gonna take it, uh, take it out of here, and I'll be uh, right back. Okay, I have it out of this case. So I'm turn it over. This should be plugged back over here to keep it from flopping around. Okay. Oh. 
this is the one I replaced. It's a, uh, what was that? I can see it perhaps. I think it's a, it's a 50 microfarad. And I think it was supposed to be 35 volts, and I put 160 in there. So I can check that. This is a uh, adjustment for, I think it's the emission. And this is the, no, it says on there. Yeah, that's emission, and this was for, uh, That's the one. And this is grid leakage. Couple of big uh, resistors over here. I'm not taking them one out. There's a lot of little resistors in there. I don't think it's a resistor on out of here. I think this is a 12BA6. Yes, it is. So let me find that. Well, actually, we got to go on 12 on this. Twelve. Twelve B A six. Twelve B A six. Twelve Delta. Six Alpha. Twelve D six A. Okay, we'll see what that does. Are we lighting up? Yes, it is. Check of shorts. Yep, that's shorted. Don't see right there. That's shorted. Do not do any more tests on this tube. I'll lay this down and I'll forget. All right, we'll try what we got over here. 6AU6. I know this one's good too because I put it on my uh, hey, crack. But my. You can actually can't really know if you can the grid. That's why I love this tube tester. For, this one's my first go to, and then what was this? Six AU six. So we definitely got to put this on six. Okay, 6D, sound like a D, on 6, 6A, 6D, 6A. Maybe it's this socket. Maybe I should try another. I don't think so. I don't think so. I should have checked that when you put a tube in. You should check to see if it's on zero. Okay, it's... It's glowing, so we can check with shorts. That's fine, so we can proceed with the test. What was that? A? I got a short memory. A4. Okay. Emissions. Same thing. It's not right. And the grid leakage is way back there. That should be over here in a good position. That tube should read around 90%. Percent of anything, so it's off. So I got to do some troubleshooting. Oh, 
Where does that diode and all that stuff come in at? That's going right to the uh, grid leakage switch, which is normally closed. Coming back out, up to there. Aha. TR1. TR1. I know likey. TR1. That's that FET. Can I get in there to check that? It's going to be a tight one if I can. Drain source and gate. That's it. That would make sense. Because it's coming from the normally closed switch on the... On the... Uh, for the emissions, it goes to the normally closed on the grid. And then out of there... What am I seeing again now? I'm getting... Right there, right there, it goes straight up. Yep. And it's gone. I bet that uh, fat is kaput. And that's going from there. The gate, let's see, it's going right to the uh, meter. It's in one of them. It ain't a transformer. It's either that fat or diode. I don't think it's going to be down. I think it's going to be that fat. And does it give me a number on it? Third number I know, but does it give me any? Two N five four five seven. Selected. Fat selected. Selected for what? I think that's a good number. Two N five four five seven. All right. I've got to check that uh, fat out. And then the diodes. I don't think it's in this transformer. For the silver rigs, the grid leakage is working. The emissions not, and that emissions is going in there as per normally closed on this grid from emissions to the grid, and then out of there from that normally closed and it's set to that pot that I had just adjusted, going into there straight up into that vet. Oh, let's go through a resistor first, but uh, nevertheless. And another cap, the 0.01. Oh, I could check the voltage on it. If I could see the damn thing. Yeah, I, I think that's it. But the effect is gone. So. So I'm going to put this... Uh, Turn this in this right now so I can uh, check out those parts that I just mentioned and uh, go from there. Okay, I got the uh, JFET soldered in place. I don't see any other leads touching, so that's okay. Like again, I replaced uh, all right, that JFET, three resistors here, and three on the load switch uh, I'd like to head one percent as and everything I didn't have so I got five percent it's not better than tens so now we see it's probably gonna have to be recalibrated because I know I messed with those adjustments but turn this off I'm gonna plug it in and see what happens
like I said, I desoldered one end of the diodes and uh, check them so they should be okay. Okay, the grid leakage is good between the bad and the question mark. Okay, now we'll put it back in shorts and we go with. with uh, one delta six Charlie. That's right, we put it on Charlie and then we check for emissions and that should go at 60 and that's too high. And the emission one, well, that's that one. By the way, that's pretty good right there. Take it back to shores, put it on delta, and go grid leakage again. Alright, that's close enough. Alright, now we're gonna check a tube. We'll see if we got full deflection. That we let's see what we got here. Here's a 6AU6. I know that's to be a good new old stock, I think. Or a used. I think this was a new old stock. We shall find out. I always open the wrong ends. There we go. That was my paper. Six AU six. All right, now it's you got to put on six volts for the heater. This is on D, okay. And this is six, and this is A. I'm not checking for six AU six six D six A six D six A. I'm sure it's because I know the tube is good. But I should anyway, you know. Put it on shorts. Let's turn this off for a second. Shorts. Would be not yeah, it's lit. Okay. Here's the test. Let's go emissions. Alright. We're at 95%. See, I didn't have it. I was getting that to question mark. Grid leakage is good. Woohoo! Emissions. That was the repair. Uh, put it on shorts. Off. It's an instant on. All right, now I'll check another one. So that was it. That JFET. Let's go with the questionable one that I know is good, but I don't know about the grid leakage. So we'll try one of these. I think I remember these. This has got to be set on 35. 35C5. And that has nothing to do with that it's just a coincidence and I forgot what A goes on. Three five. Three, five C five. C five B. Okay. All right, we'll check this one. I know the tube's good, but I don't know about being a gas, I mean the uh, grid leakage, so. All right, I got it repaired, that's a good thing. Set it on B. Put it on shorts, wait till the element heats up, the heater. And she's starting to heat up, so I'm gonna check for shorts. I think there is a short on one of them, maybe, maybe not. 
see if I see if I doesn't show it. Sometimes it'll show it, but it'll be short on something. Okay, no shorties. Back to B. Five. C five. All right, here we go. Emissions. All right. This thing is working. That that J bet was definitely bad. Okay, now we'll check grid leakage. About 15%, but it's still in the good as long as it doesn't climb. Now we'll check emissions and see if it climbs any. Man, it's almost 100%. It's 97 or something. Grid leakage. Set of 15 and it's staying. So it's good. Okay. Off. Well, it used to get hot, but I didn't get that. All right. So I got it fixed. All right. <clears throat> Here it is. Back into its case. All buttoned up. And uh, ready to go. It's ready and ready to go when I need it. So, hope you enjoyed this uh, repair. And uh, thanks for watching.